Welcome back to Word of Mouth, the channel where we taste and we talk. Today we're going to be doing something really simple again. We're going to make a Kenyan staple and it's called Mandazi. And basically Mandazi is the Kenyan version of the donut. So here we are and um, basically what you need, you need flour, you need baking powder, you need sugar and you need allspice but this is not allspice this is cinnamon fun fact allspice is a spice that comes from a tree called the pimenta tree and it brings together the flavors of cinnamon cloves nutmeg and pepper but i couldn't find allspice so i'm using cinnamon so we have two cups of flour so my wife loves a uh, black forest cake but she also loves uh, mandazi. Um, next is our sugar, and it's just four teaspoons of sugar. And then your cinnamon or your allspice, it's just a quarter teaspoon. And then one and a half uh, teaspoons of baking powder. And we just mix those together. So I was saying my wife uh, loves black forest cake. It's much more complicated to make and it's more expensive when you go out to the restaurant to buy it and sometimes in life we feel like everyone is having black forest and you're having mandazi so anyway we have the dry ingredients the next thing you want to do is get your butter and we're only going to have one teaspoon of butter and you basically rub it in so that it's evenly distributed in the mix so here we go so anyway, I was talking about uh, Black Forest versus Mandazi. I think in life we are offered so many choices of different things, whether it's uh, food, it's cars, phones, uh, even clothes. And sometimes we feel like we just need to have the best, the latest, the greatest of everything all the time. And it causes us to be so stressed out especially when we compare ourselves to other people. And once it's all mixed up, it's time for your wet ingredients to go in and beat it up. The other wet ingredient is, um, is your milk. So I'm using half a cup of milk. If you don't want it to be so rich, you can use a quarter cup of milk and a quarter cup of just ordinary water. Just mix it up until it forms a soft dough that you can work with your hands. Now you just use your hands to mix that up. So I was saying we get so stressed out because we want the latest and the greatest and we compare ourselves with other people uh, who seem to be eating black forest cake every day and we are not. Don't get me wrong, um, we are allowed to eat our black forest in life but what I would say is don't ever get too black foresty that you can't enjoy the simple things in life there is my dough so that's done mixing now I take a board put some flour so that the dough doesn't stick onto the board and then just knead it for a few minutes so that it's nice and soft and even. Yeah, so if you had a kitchen aid and afford something like that, you can just use that to, to knead your dough and that will take much less time. But this is simple enough. So your dough is nice and, and smooth. Next thing is just to put a bit more flour on the board, pinch a good size off the dough, about that much. Yeah, put it on the board, take your rolling pin and just roll it out flat. The mandazis are usually made into triangles, I don't know why. So this is about how thin or thick it is. You cut it into the shape that you want, so we're going to do the triangles that we usually see. So I use a fryer, but you can use a pan, just enough uh, oil to deep fry. And you just drop your mandazes in there. And they should 
puff up and float to the surface. And you do about 30 seconds to 45 seconds aside. And after 45 seconds, you flip them over. And you can serve your mandazis with a nice spot of tea. Yeah, so that's how you make mandazi, a Kenyan staple. And remember, don't be so black foresty that you cannot enjoy mandazis. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe and share the video if you have enjoyed it. Join me next time on Word of Mouth, where we taste and talk.